It's the Juice Bar ZA hey, giving you a daily dose of your freshest squeeze. Welcome back, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. And most importantly, do not forget to share this video. So, it has been a hectic year for Zahara. I mean, fighting DJ's boo for her music. And alcoholism, depression, financial, you know, turmoil. Like, she's been through a lot this year. And luckily, her year is about to end we're on a high note or on a happy note two weeks ago um analisa matebe who is matebe i think yeah analisa matebe who is the niece yaha zahara actually went disappeared after the after attending Pedro's Motipe Foundation event in East London earlier this month. So she went missing for about two weeks and Zahara actually went on her Instagram page, posted her picture and captioned it that if you see her niece, please contact her and she dropped her number there. And luckily, two weeks, two weeks later, she actually pitched up. As we all know, this is 16 days of activism to remember the victims of gender-based gender violence. So I feel like this video is actually appropriate for this particular time. But like I was saying, Zahara's sister actually came through, made a statement with She's Alive. She said these particular words. She says, she has returned and we are very happy. We opened a case with the police and she has been returned. Her phone was taken. That's why no one could get hold of her. But she is safe and home she continued on saying that i am just worried because so many people go missing in this country for us to be honoring 16 days of activism and for a family member to be missing during this time was traumatic <coughs> pardon me for that we really need to work together to make sa safer for our women what i'm saying is this is going too far this is going too far. Women are being killed, being raped, being done, all these other things that are not okay to be done to them. Not only women, I know some men, but the majority of the percentage that this um, horrific events are happening to is women. Can we just stop it and just focus on making this world a better place for all of us to live in? Not just our country, not just as a continent, but the whole entire world. Anyway, tell me at the comment section down below what you think about this whole entire situation. Um, keep safe, stay safe, let's love each other and keep and, and le let's love each other and treat each other with respect. That's all I want to say. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day and goodbye.